Hello vlog, it is Sunday and it is almost one, not almost one. We have to be at Ruin Pairs at one so that we can go to brunch. We're going to switch. Haven't been there in a very long time. I was kind of on the fence about going to brunch because honestly, I'm still pretty full from last night's meal at Shabu Fondue and I don't wanna like overeat, but at the same time, I can't pass up the french toast at switch so we are going to go and do that i thought that i could just do a little outfit of the day in this mirror now that i have it in my room or i guess my makeshift room i'm just wearing this harley davidson top i tried it with the shirt underneath it but it was way too hot and there might be there's a slight possibility that we're going to be eating outside so i don't want to be super super hot and then i'm just wearing these h&m jeans with the kind of frayed hem on the bottom of them. I love them, they fit so well. I think they were $5 on sale. And then just the choker, the double belt buckle choker from Zara that is actually this season. So if you guys are looking for it, I would check online to see if it's available. And that's basically it. I'm not one to dress up for brunch because that's just not me. This is like casual, I can eat whatever I want. My food baby will be hidden, that's all. Hello vlog, it is around 7 and I am actually headed back to Ruin Fair's place right now. I came home because I wanted to change. I had been in my clothes from brunch the whole day and I wasn't really comfy lounging in them. So I came home really quickly. It's funny because Punk is like, I don't need anything. And then I get here and she's like, oh, can you grab me this? Can you grab me this? Disregard the fever blister on my upper lip. It's in the process of healing. I also had to come home and get some Abreva because it's getting to that point where it starts to crack and itch and it's just gross. So I'm going to head back right now. I might get gas on the way back because it's cheaper in Midtown than it is in my part of town. So i going to head back right now. Hello vlog. It is Monday and where are we going? Starbucks. You guessed it. Starbucks. So it is almost three right now and I am making a rice bowl for lunch slash dinner. I have my white rice going, which is just white rice. And then I crumble a chicken bouillon cube in the water as it's boiling. That's the secret. It's not really a secret. That's just how my dad would make the rice. Alrighty guys, so my food is ready. I'm starting to put together my bowl. This is what the fajitas look like. Uh, yellow pepper and onion and some garlic. Taste amazing. I guess I just have to take this off the cob and then add my avocado and um, a little bit of sour cream and it'll be ready. So we just finished watching the season finale of The Night Of. I'm not mad at it. I'm not going to spoil it for any of you guys if you haven't watched yet. I guess I'm not sure what I was expecting. I don't know, maybe it was just a bit underwhelming. But we just got something in the mail and Punk and I are really excited because we were asked to be the girls of the month for Bond Look. They um, do one like every month if you guys receive their um, emails, their newsletter. I always see it because I obviously have their newsletter, but I don't know if any of you guys have before. And so we got to pick out some new glasses. You guys, well, people always, no matter what, like in a vlog or in a Instagram or anything, people always ask me where my glasses are from. They're all from Palm Book, which is funny because I feel like I say that a lot. Okay, so these are the same exact glasses that I'm wearing right now. The Days, this is the Clear Diamond. I think they are still out of stock, but this is the Pink Tortoise, I believe. Ooh, I really, really like them. Oh. 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 What are the next ones? Okay, the next ones are the Amaze. How do they look? Whoa, Does this look looks good? so sick. Oh, I, feel, I don't even know how I look, but I feel like I look They look pretty sick, good. Okay. yeah. So last but not least, I know what these are. These are the Colt, and they are also a clear frame. I'm kind Dang, of- you got all clear, except well, the tortoise? These are, they look like they're gonna be. Oh, yeah. They look good. Those look really good. I, I can't look see so my good. Yes. I feel like I instantly just look really good. I'm gonna have to go look at all okay, of them. Okay, go try one. It is Tuesday night, and Punk just got her glasses. They just arrived. Ooh, those look good. What? 
feel like the prescription is like off. Wait a second, those look like my glasses. Those are the same ones that I got. They're your prescription. They are probably my prescription. So JK looks like Bon Look accidentally sent another set of my glasses, all the same frames, all the same prescription. But we also got this bad boy today. I'm really excited to look through. To be honest, all the previous Vogue's that I've received have been a bit underwhelming, so I'm excited for the September issue. Hello vlog, it is Wednesday. We are heading to Starbucks and to Wally. Melos has to pick up a prescription. We also have to refill our waters and do a lot of stuff, so. We're going to do that. I also got another one of those $10 off coupons that was my mother's. So I might get a new composition book or something at Staples. We shall see. So we are in the library looking for new music. Apparently we live under a rock and only listen to top 40 according to some of the viewers of last week's vlog. Nothing really good today. So. I, I live under a rock. I've never heard of this band before. One Direction, can somebody please classify it as rock? Yeah. So yesterday... <laughs> So yesterday, I think we shared with you guys that Bon Look accidentally sent another set of my glasses, so we are going to send those back. But Punk's glasses arrived today. She's really excited. Punk got a clear frame. These are the flared diamond tortoise. Oh, perfect. So it says it on the inside, so I didn't have to be. Those look so good. Look small. I'm used to my big Jack and normal ones. Dolled up in ebony granite. Those look so good on you. Okay. I love those on you. Those look really good. Color, these are the Eclipse in Light Mocha Tortoise. And you have the Eclipse. I have the Eclipse, but they are really scratched. Oh yeah, those look good too. So all of the frames look good. Update on my fever blister. It's going away. It's just kind of discolored now and red. And we're at a good stage right now. I think... I will be able to put makeup on over it at least tomorrow. I haven't wanted to film anything because yesterday, well yesterday and Monday and Sunday actually, it was at its worst and it was not looking good. I definitely could not cover it up. It was at that stage where I just had to let it be. And it was funny because at work yesterday and every place that I went, I could tell like, you know when you go somewhere and, or you know when you have something on your face that you really can't do anything about and people are looking at it and they're trying to look at you, but they're also looking at whatever is going on and they're like, Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I, I could tell that was everybody yesterday. Like, everybody's looking at what's on my face and they don't want to say anything and they don't want to acknowledge it. I'm like, yeah, I have this huge thing on my face. I'm sorry. So we are going to head to the store really quickly. I've been asking Punk to make me a rice bowl for the last few days. Punk has mastered the art of rice. I never have. I clearly don't know what I'm doing when it comes to rice. What are you doing? So Punk's favorite kombucha is buy one get one free this week and they started selling my favorite brand here so I don't have to go all the way to Whole Foods. I'm so excited! So we were not able to find any flowers but we found a house plant that fits perfectly in this terracotta small planter that we got at the thrift a few weeks ago. Um, I'm not sure what this is. The closest thing that I could find online was some form of hybrid Diefenbachia. Diefenbachia? I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. But I wanted to ask you guys, okay, uh, this is one of my favorite ads. I like to bookmark them kind of so I can go through. But there's something I was looking through this the other day. Okay, here we go. I was looking through the Vogue September issue and I saw an ad for, this is Scottsdale Quarter and it's funny because I took a picture of this and sent it to Fair and was like, how did they get in here? And of all things to put in Vogue, how, why was this the picture that they chose? For those of you that don't live in the Valley, Scottsdale Quarter is like this outdoor mall that's north of where I live. It's like the nice part of Scottsdale. But it's funny too because they listed the stores here and they only listed like the nicer higher end stores and omitted like the fast fashion that everybody goes to. Like they have an H&M and an Urban Outfitters and a Forever 21 and they didn't put it on this list. 
which I think is kind of hilarious. Also, I was excited to see, actually, I think that picture of Kendall Jenner looks pretty awesome. And this one is my favorite of, out of all of the other photos of her. I think that one's just really, really pretty. She's just naturally very beautiful. Um, but where is it? Ugh, love it, Zendaya. But the, like the it girls and these really awesome silhouettes. And I was so excited to see one of my faves. Hayley Gates, I knew she was going to be in this because I saw a picture of this, I think, posted on Instagram. I don't know if any of you guys watch Dates of Undress. If you haven't, it's so good. I absolutely love everything that she does. So we are going to start filming Punk's favorites. She's actually been sleeping in this bedroom. It's funny, after we took the, vid the videos, what am I saying? After we took the photos, Punk was like, I'm gonna move everything back, and then she didn't. So she obviously likes this room. Let's see your glasses up close, the clear. I'm actually really happy with this. So cute, and then let me see the side because I don't it's think you tortoise. could really, yeah, tortoise, so cute. Love them, those look really good on you. Thanks. Oh my gosh, yes, you can see it, awesome. Look at this massive zit on my, like in between my eyebrows. I don't know, we'll see if it just kind of like pops on its own, it's really disgusting, but. This is our vlog. You guys see the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Currently the ugly. Good morning vlog, it is Saturday. It is around nine o'clock and we are headed out right now. Punk and I were up very early this morning. I could not sleep the whole entire night, but I heard something around 7.30 outside of the house and it was the delivery company dropping off the bed frame. We knew that they weren't supposed to come until around 11.30 to three, that was the time frame. But luckily enough, I would just happen to hear them and went outside with all of my, uh, what is it called? The zit cream, the acne free spot treatment all over my face, didn't care at all. And I was like, hey, how's it going? You need any help? So they brought it into the house. We're going to set it up later, but right now we are headed off to the Saturday sale. Punk just found my favorite movie, one of my favorites on VHS. I think we still have it somewhere at home. Oh my gosh, I love this movie. So we are in the fitting room. This mirror is really dirty. I'm trying on this Isaac Mizrahi for Target top. I feel like these colors were super cool in like the mid, or the early mid 2000s. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I wanted to try it on. It reminds me of like my childhood. I don't know how I feel about this. Polo queen. This reminds me of something, uh, like, I feel like Amy Poehler would wear this in Mean Girls, like, as the mom. True. So, I feel like all the eight girls right now are carrying straw bags, and there were so many here, and I narrowed it down to three, but I'm not 100% sure. So this one is pretty big. It could fit all of my stuff. Do you think it's a summer bag, though? Like, would, would it transition to fall well? This one is... Small and cute, but the handles aren't in great condition. And then this with the obnoxious orange. I don't know about this one. I don't know about any of them, to be honest. So we are at the second Goodwill. I found another straw bag. This one has a longer strap. It's kind of got this weird, I don't know, plastic tortoise hardware. It's kind of cool. I like this one better than the other ones, but I'm still not 100% sold on it, so we'll see. So I'm trying on this top. I really liked the colors and the stripes. Okay, I really don't like this neckline, but I always have issues with tops like these because um, they don't fit around the chest, so I tried to wrap it, I guess, in a way that I thought it would work better, but clearly it still does not fit. When Punk finds a dupe for the list spec uh, sunglasses that are $119, but you know these aren't going to work either. Is it really a dupe though? <laughs> okay, not really a dupe. <laughs> we are walking back to the car right now. Absolutely nothing at this last Goodwill. Very picked over, very messy. I used to be totally down with going through everything, but when it's too much of a mess, I, I can't get into it anymore. So we came to Adrian's to get some burritos. I Sorry guys. I've been craving a breakfast burrito. The this is the light rail. And there's May 
it's a thrift. So if you guys don't know where it is. I ended up getting an Arizona burrito instead of a breakfast burrito. Yeah. I saw the rice, beans, guacamole, pitagaya, cheese. This is the place where you come if you want like a good home cooked burrito yes. that tastes like something your family would make. My dad. So it is later in the afternoon. Oh my goodness, guys, the burritos were delicious. I don't usually eat all of my food in one sitting. I usually, if I'm eating a burrito, will cut it into like quarters and just eat small pieces at a time, but I almost ate the whole burrito that's how good it was we are going to start right now setting up this new um bed frame and then we'll show you guys what it looks like once we are done it's three pieces hopefully it's easy to assemble we took apart my bed which was right here and that was actually really easy too because thankfully i kept all of the pieces so we have been assembling this bed frame for i don't know how long it has slats on the bottom of it and they are not as simple as the ikea slats they're this weird slat and plastic combination which is very hard to assemble and online this bed is listed as full slash queen like it could fit both of them which i never understood how that would be possible and it clearly doesn't fit my bed my bed is a full and it is tiny in this bed frame so as you can see there's kind of like a hands width around the sides and then on the bottom there's a bit of room here i guess i'll just be careful and not roll off to either side of the bed punk and i are exhausted <laughs> said right there I'm sweating because it took us forever to get those slots and I was getting so frustrated I almost wanted to give up I was like you know what forget it and I actually changed into my active wear because that tank top I was wearing is cotton and when I sweat in cotton it's just a huge mess so this is what it looks like online it says size full queen but if you actually read the size in the details it says queen so there we go, mystery solved, it's for a queen. So I'm going through this trunk that's beside my bed and I found this other box of earrings. I used to take, um, <laughs> this is so silly, um, what are these called? Note cards and cut them up so I would have my earrings on each one of these and then some of them would go in separate bags. Wow, there are even more earrings in here than, oh my goodness. I remember when I bought these. Look at these, oh my goodness, how gaudy is that? I've never worn these ever. As you can see, when I was in high school, I would buy anything. Obviously, I was into anything that's like super gaudy and oversized and really obnoxious. I think I bought these at a yard sale for like 50 cents. Wow, I actually really like these. This is actually a brooch I could put on my denim jacket, so that's a good find. This was also in there. I don't know if any of you guys remember way back in the day. This was one of our first DIYs. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I still had this just in this trunk. If you had asked me a year ago to go through my jewelry and get rid of things that I don't use or that I don't need, I would have had a really hard time with that, but I've read a lot of books on decluttering so i'm actually sorting through all of these things and deciding what should go back to the thrift maybe somebody else can enjoy it and give it a new life instead of just sitting in a box in another box in a trunk in my room so we went by ross and target and i really didn't think the selection at target was all that great so i just picked up a six piece set for my bed at Ross. It was only $12.99. We also went by Barnes and Noble because I was looking for the issue 15 of What Youth. I saw online that it said that they sell it there, but I kind of knew that it wasn't going to be there. So we just looked at a few other magazines. I'm just going to purchase it online. I know I just am impatient and I don't want to wait for it to get here, but the shipping is free. So I came across something while cleaning my room and this is actually a project that Punk and I worked on in a fashion merchandising class. Yeah, like the first year of college. This is Punky, look! So the project was that we had to create a fashion line and everybody else basically just took pictures from the internet but 
we were like fresh out of high school. We we're like, oh my gosh, we can do something really cool. We had all the time in the world. We had so much time on our hands. We styled everything that we had in our closet and I think we even bought some pieces too and we were like going for that really femme utilitarian. I loved these shorts. I still have that belt. We still have those boots the socks we and we were like loved this um this fence with like the dead <laughs> like this old dead, dead weeds, stuff like yeah. weeds growing in it. Oh my gosh, I, I think I still have, have coat. that coat. Yeah. This dress was beautiful. It was like a BCBG Max Azria dress that Punk got at the thrift store for, I think, like $5. Like we still have that belt. Oh my gosh. We cut these socks to make them like frayed because we thought it was really cool. And everybody in class was like, who'd you get to model that? And we're like, um, this is punky. Oh my gosh, I still have this. It's like a... I don't even know what it is, but I got this at a we still have this really too. cool um, thrift store that is no longer around, and they had the most awesome vintage pieces. Still have that belt. Oh my goodness! I remember doing this and having so much fun on it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Good times. So it is almost 10:30 right now, and we are in Smell's new bed. She has yet to put the new fitted and flat sheet on it but that'll happen probably tomorrow i still have to wash um my what is this thing called that goes on top of it i don't know the mattress pad thing it's, it's a called a mattress pad. pad i forgot for a second i have to wash it though I've just been putting together the vlog. It is edited up until right now. So I guess that means that this vlog must come to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate your support and your kind words and your tweets and your snaps. Anything else you want to say? No, you said it all. I said it all? You said it all. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for spending another week with us. And we will see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.